two words. Usually, only English learners tend to make a list, a long list of words, and try to just read it out. But that really doesn't help. Also, it can get quite boring. It is important for you to remember these words so that you can expand your vocabulary. So here are some tips for you to learn and remember these new words. The first tip is to use the new word in a sentence. Now that you have come across a new word, maybe in a newspaper or a magazine or maybe uh, watching television. Now since you have come across this new word, first look up at the meaning of the word. Try and understand what it means and once you've understood that, try to create your own sentences. Couple of sentences that you can relate or connect to your life. That would really help you to remember this new word. The second tip that I have for you is to look for grammatical variations. Now once you have learned the meaning of the word, of the new word, look for the grammatical forms of it. For example, now we do upload videos under our daily vocabulary video segment. Please do watch these videos so that you can learn a word on daily basis. So the recently video that we uploaded was the word entice. Now the word entice, which means to tend or to desire, uh, the adverb form of the word entice is enticingly. The adjective of the word entice is enticing. And whereas the past and the past participle of the word entice would be enticed. So here, in one go, you learned four different words, isn't it? So, use the first trick. Start making your own sentences out of each form. So this way, you would remember each and every word and this would help you to expand your vocabulary. The next trick is do word associations and connections. I think this is one of the most important trick because here it would help you to learn many words. I'll tell you how. Now once you learn this new word, for example, how we learned the word in our previous trick that is entice, look for its synonyms and its antonyms, okay? So look what it means, what are the different ways that you can talk about this word, and also look at the opposites of it. So for example, for the word entice, the synonyms are um, to attract, tempt, or to lure. And the opposite of these of this word is to repel, disgust, or turn away or turn off. So basically, here you learn so many words by just taking one word that is entice. Now wouldn't this help you to expand your vocabulary and also remember the new word that you learned? So I think this is one of the best tricks that you can apply. And on one side, and on the other side, you can write the meaning of the word. 
and then you can just put it in front of you and if the word's meaning is flashing on your side, try to think of the word. And if you get it right, there you go, you have learned the new word. So once you collect number of cards, you can also start playing with this with your friends and with your family members too. So this will definitely help you to increase your knowledge. today and then completely forget about it. Well, you would be under the impression that you know it and if you try to remember it a couple days later, well trust me, it's going to be a little difficult. So, like there is a saying in English that use it or lose it, this means that you need to practice or else you would forget. So it is important to go through the list of words that you have made and practice them on a daily basis.